some of y'all are gonna not want to hear this but about the message yesterday about them wanting to get you guys to overspend remember i just told you guys you still gotta take responsibility for your life you can't just put the blame on them completely yeah they can do stuff to kind of trigger your decisions and stuff um but we still have to be strong enough and smart enough and have use our discernments to fight through that do you see what i'm saying so every time you're about to do something think to yourself like is this is this me doing what they want or is this me doing something that god wants me to do you know what i mean um the other message was <laughs> he wants y'all to save god's saying some he already told some of y'all this and here's why there's going to be some unexpected expenses in august unexpected expense i heard a mortgage unexpected expected mortgage payment unexpected investment but mortgage really stood out investment um you know it could be whatever there's unexpected payments it, there's something some of you guys are gonna have to pay unexpectedly and god wants you guys to be prepared for it okay it's gonna it's gonna happen in august but in general he was just saying some of y'all have to save because you have to understand that sometimes when god is leading us to where he wants us to be it requires for us to make certain changes right and whether it's moving whether it's investing whether you know whatever it is right and if god is blessing you with extra income or blessing you in general you have to think to yourself do i really need this is this really needed right now that's why i say always pray about stuff before you buy it is this really needed right now do i really have to buy this right now you know pray about it and get the confirmation um you know because sometimes it's not needed and i saw someone in the comment section say that whenever she wants something or she has a dream about something and it's through god um the item that she she's supposed to buy would be on sale and it wouldn't be the amount that it usually is and that's true that's how you know god is working because when god tells me to buy stuff i'll be like god i can't afford that right now i can't buy it and then it just so happens the items on sale or it just so happens that you know it's given to me you know what i mean the same thing as she said so that's how you know it's god but sometimes they'll do money rituals to try to get y'all to spend and right now is a very hectic time but god wants some of y'all to save he he's not going to tell me everyone's life situation no but he'll give me the basic message so you guys know what he's talking about but there is something unexpected that's gonna um require some of you guys to spend in august he said and it is related to like mainly mortgage and investments right and you guys know about this but i feel like some of you guys may get tempted okay and I know August is around the corner and you don't really have a lot more time to save and you know but it, I don't know when in August it could be the ending of August but he just said to save there's gonna be unexpected expenses and you're gonna be prepared for it okay and some of the unexpected expenses is what's actually gonna open that next door for you so it's, it's just, let's just say that you want to launch a business in order to launch a business you got to invest on a website you got to invest on whatever your inventory for selling stuff on inventory or marketing or whatever you got to invest in and you didn't know all of that was going to add up and august comes and you're like oh my gosh i just spent all this money in july that i didn't need to spend on unnecessary things that i'm not even going to use right now and i could have put this towards you know my website or towards marketing or towards whatever do you see what i'm saying he's trying to avoid that because now you're 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 kind of stuck you can't open that next door to your life that next door to your that next chapter why because you don't have the income to invest in the website invest in the marketing whatever you're doing right so it's kind of like now you're kind of stuck until you can receive that income again to put towards that when you already had it right so it's that example he's giving me that example for example you may have wanted to move buy a, a place buy a house and the market may have been too high and you decide to just say you know what i'm gonna move next year and you start to decide to spend your money on something else and it just so happens in august one of your dream houses ends up being the market drops i'm giving an example the market drops one of your dream houses um is on the market and the down payment is let's just say ten thousand fifteen thousand dollars 
$20,000 and you just said, oh my goodness, I just bought a car that I didn't really need. I could have waited. I already have a car, so I could have waited to upgrade my car, but I chose to upgrade my car and now I can't put the down payment on this dream house that I really want that is now a good deal, good price, right? So, because he said mortgage, so yeah yeah so pay attention guys okay be very smart with your income um if you are someone that's battling with, with spiritual warfare and stuff now that you know you have the knowledge about it do the opposite of what they expect okay love you guys i'll talk to you soon bye